Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the teaching jobs in Canada for Indian teachers. So this is the most uh, of you were asking this question. So I brought all the details and I'm going to discuss every point. So uh, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and press the bell icon uh, so that you'll not miss any new upcoming video without any delay. Let's start today's video. So I have divided the video into three parts. The first part I'm going to discuss uh, is, there, is that Indian teachers are in demand in Canada. Second one, I'm going to discuss what all requirements and what is the process. Third one is which are the best provinces in Canada to apply for a teaching job. So let's start with the first one. First one, if I'll tell you, yes, there are Indian teachers in demand and in Canada, they are under the category of the skilled professionals uh, because Indian teachers Teachers are under the category of skilled professional. I'll tell you the program, pilot program, and then the PNP program, which is provinces nominee program. Third one is the express entry pathway. Yes, because Indian teachers are under the skill category, so these all are the ways through which you can, as a teacher, you can enter in Canada and get uh, get the, your PR done. Now we'll come to the second step. What are the requirements and what you have if you can apply for a teaching job in Canada? The first thing is a PR. Yes, a permanent resident. You see, if you have applied for the PR means you are already there in Canada or you have got your PR clarification like you got the PR and now you are planning to travel to Canada in the next coming six months, still you can apply. But I'm telling you without PR, it's very difficult through any agency or whatever the way to get a teaching job in Canada. So you must have your PR done, then only you look forward for a teaching job in Canada. If any agency is saying you'll get the, they will get the job done for you and then you can go and get your PR, so I'll tell you one thing before going to pay ask them to hand on the offer letter to you get a job for you then only you are going to pay and be there in their uh, like you know circle because as per my knowledge it's very difficult to get a uh, teaching job in Canada without a PR. Now I'm coming to the uh, qualification category. When I check there, they are asking for a bachelor degree at least. For example, you are going to apply for a maths teacher. So you must have done your bachelor degree with that subject as a major subject. So you must have studied maths in your bachelor degree. This is a first thing plus two to three year of teaching experience must be there from India because you are coming under a category of skilled professional. So you must have an experience then only you are going to go with that tagline. Third one is the beard which should be two year at least i i you remember uh, before like you know maybe two three year back the beard was of one year so that beard is not at all acceptable in canada so if you have done one year beard you have to go there or you have to stay here and complete again the two year beard or you go to canada and you have to complete another one year to get the complete beard certification third point is transcripts from your university Yes, some transcript you will get uh, like you know uh, for your PR that will not work. You must have to ask your university to provide you the transcript for a teaching job in Canada and this will cost you around 762 Canadian dollar you convert into INR and you have to get your transcript done from your university and then only you start applying then only you submit your documents. Now we covered with the uh, qualification now we are coming to the third point. Third point is provision provincial certificate course yes when you will reach there in uh, like you know canada after your pr what you have to do you have to uh, give a uh, teaching license exam and according to your score they will assign you a teaching certificate course which is a very short course uh, course mostly in the uh, time period of three to six months now in that course will cost you around 300 to 400 canadian dollar and that you have to do you must have to do before b without doing that course they will not you can't work as a a teacher over there but you can do work as an assistant teacher so while you are doing your six, three to six month course you can work as an assistant teacher one more thing this these courses are also available online if you are looking forward you have your PR in your hand and now you want to go to Canada and start your teaching career so what you can do you can complete your transcript and then this teaching license exam plus the short term course online because of the COVID restrictions all these courses are now available online so that is a plus point so you can uh, be in India, complete this uh, short term course and then you can plan to move to uh, Canada. Next one is the IELTS certificate. Yes, when you are looking for a teaching job, you must have done the IELTS 
academics not general when you are applying for the pr you are applying for the general ielts but for this you must have to do academic ielts and that also you need to score around 7 to 7.5 7 is the minimum band you need to score for this job apart from ielts you have to do a math proficiency test and that also you can do uh, by uh, like you know staying outside canada if you are trying to move so you complete your 6 month certificate course plus do your this math proficiency test also so these three things you can do ielts math proficiency test and the 6 month duration certificate course you stay here and you complete it if we'll talk about the teacher earning see there are two type of teachers which are there in canada temporary teachers and permanent teachers and that also depend in different provinces so different provinces have different salary for the temporary and permanent teacher but i'll give you a rough idea and i'll consider the minimum score if you are a temporary teacher then you, at least you will get 24 to 20 29 dollar per hour for your job uh, temporary and permanent i mean to say for 6 month you will stay temporary when you will join the teaching profession after that once you'll get the canadian experience they will move to you the permanent category and as per that your scale will also your salary will also increase so initially if i'll take the minimum you will get 24 to 29 canadian dollar per hour Now we are coming to the last point. What are the best provinces? Because if you are planning to do your PR, you must be looking which provinces you want to target. So the best provinces for the teaching job opportunities are Ontario, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. So these are the three uh, best provinces in Canada for the teaching job. So now just to summarize the thing, I'll tell you. First, I will start your uh, PR process. In between, you can do three things. You can uh, give your teaching license exam in Canada and start your six month duration. course second one is complete your ielts academics along with the general for pr you have to do your ielts academic and make sure you'll get the seven band last the third one is math proficiency test you get it done your test you open the canadian immigration website and you'll get all the details all the test details even though if you type type on google you will get all the short term courses and the math proficiency test i think i'm able to cover all your doubts regarding the te uh, teaching job in canada if you still have doubt post your question here and i'm going to cover that in the next queue coming Q&A so till the time keep learning keep growing keep trying for the teaching job i'm sure you'll get your desired salary soon i got you will also get so that's all for today have a nice day bye bye